In this video, I'm going to talk with you about the top five climbing belay devices for 2021. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. My name's Amanda and I'm a part of the Adventure Junkies team, a really cool company that helps people like you to spend more time outdoors. You can check out our website to learn more at www.theadventurejunkies.com. Now, before we go ahead and reveal our top picks, let's talk about a few things to keep in mind when choosing the right belay device for you. The first thing to consider are the different types of belay devices. Different styles are going to be suited, better suited for different climbing purposes. For example, the most ideal belay device for spending all day at the crag isn't likely to be the best that you would also take on a long multi-pitch alpine expedition. Belay device styles include tube style devices, auto blocking tube style devices such as the one um, shown here, plate style devices, and assisted braking devices. Our first style of belay devices are tube devices, also referred to as ATCs after Black Diamond's coveted model, are comprised of two simple slots and a loop. So pretty much what I'm showing you here minus this feature right here. So the advantages of ATCs is that they're relatively lightweight, inexpensive, and they function with a wide range of rope diameters. Auto blocking tube devices, such as what I'm showing you here, are just standard tube devices with one added feature, this right here. This allows you to actually belay up a follower from the anchors, so making it multi-purpose and useful for both single pitch and multi-pitch climbing. They're very easy to use and great for beginners as well. Now our plate style belay devices are going to be better suited for canyoneering and rappelling uses, but there are some climbing specific purposes as well, such as you can use it to belay a follower up from an anchor. And finally, we come to our most increasingly popular style of belay devices, our assisted braking devices. These include both passive and active styles, but both offer the ability to lock down on the rope during a fall adding for, you know, an extra measure of safety. Passive devices rely on the geometry of device, the device to actually stop the fall, while active devices have a moving part, like a camming mechanism on the inside, that engages in the event of a fall. The only downside of active braking devices is the added degree of wear and tear that they can place on a rope. Other considerations when you're choosing the right belay device for you include whether you're climbing with one rope or two, if you plan on climbing primarily outdoors or in a gym setting that may have specific belay device requirements, uh, yes, that is a thing, so definitely look into that, and how much overall climbing and belaying experience that you have. Now, on to what you guys really tuned in for, our top five climbing belay device picks. Our first pick for our top overall rock climbing belay device, specifically, best for cragging is the Petzl Grigri. This is an assisted braking device ideal for using for projecting hard sport routes because when a climber falls the device cams on itself, catching the fall with less physical exertion from the belayer than perhaps what you would use with a standard um, tube device for example. Petzl touts that this device works with a range of rope diameters from about 8.5 to 11 millimeters but I found the optimum range is more from 9 to 11. Although the brand does include diagrams on the device itself, operating a Grigri requires a learning curve, which is important to keep in mind, especially if you're newer to climbing. Once you get the hang of it though, it's a pretty convenient device for using in many gyms and proje projecting outdoor routes at the crag. What I personally like most about the Petzl Grigri is how smoothly it allows you to lower and feed out rope. What I don't care for about this belay device is how much it costs at $100, making for the second most expensive option on this list. I hope you're enjoying this video so far, whether you're just starting out on your climbing foray or you've been sending hard routes for years. Before we present our second product, product I would like to take a second to kindly ask you if you would simply hit the like button below if you're enjoying this video so far. It really helps us out. We're a small team with big dreams over here at the Adventure Junkies, and every like makes a big difference. More importantly, your engagement also helps us reach other people who might be interested in this kind of information as well. So thanks for watching, and thanks in advance for clicking the like button below. Our second belay device is the best option for multi-pitch climbing, the Black Diamond ATC Guide. 
When you're swapping leads on a multi-pitch route, you are ideally looking for a belay device suitable for using on both lead and follow, as well as for repels, if you have any. And this one checks all the boxes. The latest iteration of the ATC guide cut weight to 80 grams, making for a suitable option for carrying into the Alpine on those ultralight expeditions as well. The popular ATC guide is a dependable device for using with ropes from 8.1 to 11 millimeters in diameter. It's one of the easiest devices for learning how to use how to belay as well and can accommodate two strands of rope at one time, which is pretty convenient when you're using double or twin ropes, for example. What I personally like most about this belay device is how lightweight it is at just 2.8 ounces. What I don't care for as much about this one is that it doesn't feature any kind of assisted braking system. The third climbing de belay device is best suited for those of you on a budget, the Black Diamond ATC. So simply the ATC guide minus the guide portion. So if you're taking this device and you just remove this feature here. If you're looking for a reliable, simple belay device and you don't have a ton to spend, the $18 tube style ATC is sure to fit the bill. The one place where it comes short is when you need to belay up a follower on a multi-pitch route, in which scenario the ATC guide we reviewed above would be a better overall choice. Black Diamond sets the standard for tube devices, especially with its original iteration of the ATC. It can handle ropes measuring from about 7.7 millimeters to 11 millimeters in diameter with ease, encompassing an impressively vast range of rope diameters when compared to most of the other options on this list. The ATC features two slots for rope, making it suitable for using for um, repelling situations and most belaying scenarios ex as well, except for when you're belaying from the anchors. The device is designed with a large surface area, which um, was made that way so that it dissipates heat when you're lowering or repelling, which can really create a lot of heat. <laughs> what I don't care for about the Black Diamond ATC is that you can't use it for belaying from the anchors, again, like I've stated before, which limits its versatility to single pitch climbs. But what I like most about the Black Diamond ATC is that it's as lightweight as it is durable. The fourth climbing belay device on our list is the best for using as an emergency backup device, the Wild Country Revo. What stands out above the Revo is that it's an assisted braking style of device that allows users to belay like they would with a tube style device, which is pretty unique. Not having to learn a new belay technique could make the Revo an attractive alternative to the Grigri, for example, and especially appealing for those of you beginner climbers. The Wild Country Revo is designed a bit differently from all other assisted braking devices that you'll find, and that its locking me mechanism only activates when the rope feeds faster than 4 meters per second, which means that if you're belaying correctly the whole time, it won't activate ever. Wild Country recommends the Revo for use with ropes measuring 8.5 to 11 millimeters in diameter, and we could definitely agree with that. Compared to tube devices, the Revo's main function is to provide for an added degree of backup security to belays. And compared to other assisted braking devices out there, this one's cam only activates in the event of a poor, poor belay or, you know, an unexpected fall. What I like most about the Revo is that it's a great option for both experienced and beginner climbers alike, and suitable for using in whatever scenario that you feel is appropriate. What I don't care for about the Revo is how heavy and bulky it is, topping this list at over 10 ounces. Last pick for the best climbing belay device of 2021 is going to be made for taking with you on those Alpine expeditions when you're counting every ounce, the Petzl Reverso. If you're looking for the best option for belaying with two skinny ropes at one time, look no further. The Petzl Reverso is definitely it. Petzl designed the latest reversal model to be a few grams lighter than the previous iteration and added some cool features like a flat top and rounded edges, which intends to increase the device's overall durability. It accepts rope sizes from 8.5 to 10.5 millimeters, but we found it's best suited for using with the skinnier range of rope diameters, hence our inclusion as the top pick for alpine expeditions when you're counting every ounce and likely using those skinnier, lighter ropes. What I like most about the Petzl Reversal is that it is the lightest option available with an auto block mode for belaying up a second from the anchors. What I don't care for about this belay device is that it doesn't feed slack out as well, 
when you're using it with thicker diameter ropes, and that can definitely catch you up. If you want to check out any of these climbing blade devices for yourself, simply look for the links. They're all included in the product descriptions below. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're confused about what gear to bring hiking, or maybe you've wasted money on gear in the past that just wasn't right for you, you definitely need to get a copy of this book. It's called The Beginner's Guide to Hiking Gear, and we created it with the total beginner in mind. You will learn what gear you actually need so you can safely enjoy your time outdoors. It covers all that you need to know, from how to choose each item to specific product product recommendations, depending on your gender, budget, place you plan on going hiking, and more. You can buy it on Amazon, and it's available in both Kindle and paperback versions. Check out the link in the description below. Happy hiking!